Labels with sequential numbers can be very useful for inventory control, including filing and retrieving documents. Not everyone needs sequential labels, but many people just haven't thought about putting them to work. If you do need sequential labels, Avery Design Pro's Serial Number Tool is a godsend. I used to work for a division of the USDA that tested thousands of animal specimens per year for diseases. I could print 800 sequential labels for filing folders in less than a minute. To type or write that many labels would have taken much longer besides being very tedious. We used address labels with 80 per sheet like the 5267. These labels are the smallest Avery makes at a half inch by one and three quarter inches. They use a permanent adhesive. You can also buy labels with a removable or repositionable adhesive, but not in this size. Using the 5267 label, let's see how the insert serial number tool works. Click design from scratch enter 5267 OK reduce the zoom to 400 percent click insert serial number let's create one sheet of 80 sequential numbers starting with 0001 and ending with 0080 you don't have to use the leading zeros, but we did because the five tab file folders were easier to read lined up in the filing drawers. The serial type should be numeric. Enter one for the start value. And 80 for the end value. Leave the increment at 1. Click the leading zeros box and set the number of spaces to 4, which allows for a maximum of 9,999 labels, assuming your start value is 1. Let's add a suffix that would indicate the year. Space space Y12 for the year 2012. Click insert and center the box and the number. Centering the number vertically and horizontally. Highlight the serial number with a double click and set the font to Arial Bold 22 point. Click Print Preview. We only have one label. We needed 80. Click Setup. Under Number of Copies, select Sheets and leave the copies at 1 for one sheet. Click OK. Now we have 1 through 80 labels. I think a prefix would actually look better. Click close. To change the format, highlight the serial number and right click. Click format serial number. Delete the Y12 in the suffix.
and enter in the prefix box 12y space space. Click OK. Click Print Preview. Now we have the serial numbers on the right, which I think is a little clearer. Let's assume we printed these labels and decided we want to print 160 more labels or two more sheets. Remember, if you don't want to waste labels, you need to fill each sheet. Click Close. Highlight the serial number and right click. Click Format Serial Number. Enter 81 in the start value. To calculate the end value, add 159 to 81 because 81 counts as the first label and you need 159 more labels, not 160 more. If you add 159 to 81, you get 240. Click OK. The current serial number value is not within the start and end value. Do you want to reset the serial number to the current start value? Yes. Click Print Preview. Change the number of sheets to 2. Eighty one through one hundred and sixty. One sixty one through two hundred and forty. For a hundred and sixty more sequential labels. Next we'll study barcodes. In fact, it's possible to combine the serial number and barcode tools to create sequential barcodes.